Your content on Twitch must be accessible to all members of your community, including users with disabilities. There are some things you can do to make your stream more inclusive. For instance, streamers should carefully think over the description, use closed caption during the stream, and turn on subtitles when playing a game. My name is Coxic, I stream on Twitch to design and art, and also have a small store with badges, panels, and overlays. In this video, I will show you how to add closed caption to your Twitch broadcasts using several methods. Subtitles translate the speaker's spoken words into read text that displays on screen for you to read. This is important for people who cannot listen to the sound of broadcast but still want to watch you and follow along with what is being said. There are Twitch extensions to enable closed captioning. Popular ones are Meditech Closed Captions, Stream Closed Captioner, Closed Captions for Streams. Viewers can turn closed captioning on and off by clicking on the image in the video player. This feature works on both broadcasts and bots. It is available on PC, Androids, and iOS. How to set up closed captioning with Twitch extensions? Click the Add button next to the extension and it will be added to your extension library. Click on the My Extensions tab in the upper left corner of the page. You will see your installed and enabled extensions. Click Activate below the closed captioning extension. Even if you are prompted for multiple options, activate the extension as overlay 1. After activating the extension, click on the gear icon in the Active Extensions window to reopen the pop-up window. In this window, click on the link that will redirect you to the extension's control panel. Here, you will need to sync in with your Twitch account to access the extension tools. Select On for closed captions to turn them on. Now your live broadcasts will be accompanied by subtitles. Your community members will be able to customize subtitles as they see fit using their on-screen menus. Keep in mind an important point. If you have finished broadcasting or need to turn off the sound for a while, do not forget to turn off subtitles or exit the control panel. Otherwise, subtitles will continue to appear. You can also embed subtitles in a picture using the closed captioning site. A great free option is Web Captioner. In this method, the subtitles will be visible without additional user action. They will also remain visible on clips and when transferring the broadcast to video hosting. This is also important if you are streaming to multiple platforms at once. <laughs> now really, do you have this? In my experience, the site generates subtitles more accurately, so I use the web captioner for my broadcasts. It does not consume a lot of resources and also has the ability to maintain a blacklist of words, unlike the Twitch extensions, in case the program does not correctly hear the spoken words. How to set up closed captioning using the site? Go to the site and log into your account so that the settings will be saved the next time you start. Next, go to Settings. On this tab, you can configure speech censoring, sensitivity and power speed to clear the subtitle field. Go to the Appearance tab. Here, we will customize the appearance of the subtitles. First, I will make the text to M smaller and select lower third in the vertical alignment box. I want the subtitles to be at the bottom of the screen and have no background. In order to remove it, I need a bright green. Select the broadcast language on the language tab. On the word replacement tab, there is an analog of the black sheet. Replace similar sounding words that you want to avoid in your broadcast. On the export and restore tabs, you can make a backup of the settings or upload a backup file, for example, when changing an account. Go to OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS Setup is Identical and add a window capture layer to the scene. Select your browser from the drop-down list. Clear the capture cursor option. Done. Now place the window on the broadcast screen. You can crop unnecessary places by holding down the Alt key. Right-click on the layer and choose Filters. Plus button, 
chroma key. Key color type, green. And adjust the similarity with the slider to archive the desired effect. OK. Go back to the site and click Start Captioning. The browser will ask for permission to use the microphone. In the same window, you can select an input device. All is ready! There are a few important things to keep in mind to get the best quality subtitles. Speak clearly, not too quickly. And directly into the microphone. Avoid background noise. Busy street, fan, and other. Avoid multiple people speaking at the same time. Don't expect high fidelity subtitles if several people are talking in the frame at once. Thank you for watching. If you have any question, leave them in the comment. On my channel, you can find more videos on streaming topics and a link to my small design store for streamers in the description. Good luck with your streams. Bye.